This is the new camera from Blackmagic Design. Uh, this is a top level camera they have right now. It hasn't come out. They don't have a price yet, but it is the Blackmagic Ursus Cine 17K 65mm. And uh, can you imagine? It's an IMAX camera, practically. And these are the sensors. Take a look at this. This is insane. So this is the original 12K sensor, 35mm. This is the full frame sensor of the 12K, of the new 12K, the Blackmagic Ursus Cine 12K. And this is this camera sensor, which is huge. It's 17K and it is equal to 65 millimeters. So this is perfect for IMAX. I can't even imagine what people are gonna start doing when, when they get their hands in this beast. 17K, Yeah. I think always people say, oh, it's too, I don't see the Ks. Why so many Ks, you know? We've and, always done yeah. more resolution. This is an old post-production thing when I was in the old days. Yeah. I used to be a telecine engineer. So I'd always work on the telecines, and I use the flying spot, you know, yeah. the Sintel scanners. Yeah. Which back we, we bought them. Yeah. And the thing that was really nice about the Sintel scanners, um, in fact, when the Bosch, we had a Bosch telecine in the previous post house, and that was standard definition resolution, but it was the pictures weren't as clean. Yep. But yep. the flying spot that has a natural sort of Gaussian curve of brightness. Yeah. So when it's scanning, what it's actually doing is subsampling through an analog filter, okay. as well as scanning the film. Because you know, you've got this analog kind of curve. If you try to do that digitally, you've yeah. got to go like twice the resolution yeah. and then do a downscale to get the same effect. Yeah. So I always like the fact that you've got this beautiful looking organic images on a flying spot scanner. And it was an analog thing, but it had all of analog problems, you know, like calibration issues and the phosphor grain and all those issues. So when I finally, I used to think, why don't the camera guys do high resolution? So you can downsample and have a beautifully anti-laced image. And when yeah. the Spirit Telesony come along, and most people were still standing there. The spirit was kind of HD, but it was yeah. a H. It wasn't true HD. It was halfway there. Yeah. I think the luminous was better than the chroma, but it was much higher resolution, and the pictures were insane. I mean, the scanning quality was so good that it blew away everything.